hi guys welcome back to my kitchen my name is Ima Peace. in today's video i will show you how to make potato snacks so guys if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe click on the bell icon to be notified anytime i upload a new video now i'll be using this potato i have to pleat it very well then slice it and cook it first before the next step So after peeling it, the next step will be to slice it, wash it, put it on my pot and cook. Then I'll go ahead and add water. I'll allow it to cook very well. When it's tender, I cannot bring it down for the next step. So the potato is not tender. I'll go ahead and remove it from the water. I allow it to cool down. I'll remove it from the water, put it in another clean plate and allow it to get cold before i will now mash it and add other ingredients so guys after boiling i allow it to cool so these are the recipe i will use to mix it i need a cup of flour sugar salt the sugar is optional i use just one teaspoon of sugar small quantity of salt one teaspoon of baking powder butter milk I'm using Hollandia milk, two eggs, and some quantity of fresh pepper and the boiled potato. So let's get started. On a clean bowl, pour in your boiled potato and go ahead and mash it. Go ahead and mash it until everything is thoroughly mashed. That's why you need to make it to be very tender. Now go ahead and pour in egg on it. Add baking powder. Add butter, add the quantity of pepper that I want, then sugar and small quantity of salt. I'll go ahead and mix everything together to combine. Now I'll go ahead and pour in my one cup of upper flour. I'll be adding the flour bit by bit. Now the liquid milk will serve as my water. I'm not adding extra water to it. I will as well add it bit by bit in order to get the consistency of the dough I want.
So at this point, I will use my hand. I wash my hands with soap and a clean water before I touch it. At this point, I've gotten the consistency of the dough that I want. The next stage will be the frying stage. I will have to mold it with my hands and drop it on the oil for frying. So I want to check the oil, so it's okay. Just mold it the way you want. And as well, sprinkle flour on your hand to make it more easier. After rolling it, just flatten it with your hand any shape you want. So I'll go ahead and remove the ones that are golden brown. Hey guys, you can see how it looks after frying, the potato snacks is ready, so yummy. Make sure you try it out, you can see the inside, how it looks, very very attractive and yummy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon to be notified anytime I upload a new video, give it a thumbs up, share to your friends, keep watching Mappy's Kitchen for more recipes and bye until I see my next video. Bye!